Uh, today, inshallah, we are going to complete our talk about the consumer equilibrium, the consumer behavior. Uh, in the last class, we said that uh, the consumer, uh, or we have two theories to study the consumer equilibrium, the marginal utility theory and this indifference curve theories. Uh, we studied also the marginal utility theory, and we said that the consumer, we have two conditions for the consumer equilibrium when we use the marginal utility theory. Uh, the first condition is when the marginal utility of X over the price of X equals the marginal utility of Y over the price of Y, which means <coughs> when the last dollar spent on product X equals the last uh, dollar spent on uh, product Y. This is the first condition. And the second was uh, the consumer spends all of his income to buy all the two, two products, only X and Y, and he allocates this income by, uh, to buy two products, X and Y, uh, I income equals price of X times the quant X plus price Y times the QY. So, and we had an example and determined the points at which the marginal utility of X equals the marginal utility of Y, sorry, marginal, the first condition. And we said that the first condition might be achieved or performed at different quantities, at different points. And the, the second condition will be met in one case only, which is or achieves the consumer equilibrium. All right? Let's have another example. And then we have some other questions related to this point. So let us assume that we have the following data about the consumer. The quantity consumed, X and Y, and the marginal utility of X, the marginal utility of Y, MUX over PX, MUY over PY. One, two, three, four, five, five, six. To six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. If the consumer income equals seven and the price period of X equals one. And the price of Y equals 2. What are the equilibrium quantities of X and Y that maximizes or maximize the consumer utilities? So what? Calculate the equilibrium quantities of X and Y that maximize the consumer total utility. So. Calculate QX and Y that maximize the consumer equilibrium. The first condition is MUX over PX equals MUY. So the first solution, MUX, the first condition, MUX over PX equals the marginal utility of Y over price of Y. So we have to calculate the marginal utility of X over PX. Sorry, uh, we have to give you uh, the data here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, we have to give you the marginal iterative of X and marginal iterative of Y. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. The marginal iterative of Y, ten. Eight, six, four, three, two. So we have to calculate MU or to apply the first condition. MUX over PX equals 
So MUX over PX, MUX 8 over price of X1, 8, 7 over what? 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. What about MUY over PY? MUY, 10 over 2. The price of Y, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.5. One. Where are the points at which the marginal utility MUX over PX equals the marginal utility of Y over PY? Where are these points? Eight, my fish. Seven, no. Six, no. Five here. And five. What else? Four and four. Three and three. So, four. And four, three and the three, yes. Abella. equals 4, qx equals 4, and the qy equals how much? 1. At 4, qx equals how much? At 4 here, equals 5, and qy, 5, and the qy equals at 4 here equals 2. At 3, qx equals how much? 6. And the qy equals how much? At 3 here equals 3. So the first condition is met. At three cases. But what about the second condition? So here we have to apply or to test the second condition. The second condition is I equals the price of X times the QX plus price of Y times the QY. So under the condition here, I equals or the given that it shows that the consumer's income equals seven dollars. Must equal price of X, which is one times the QX, which is unknown here. A plus price of Y. How much is it? Two here. Times quantum Y. What are the combination? What is the group X and Y, or the bundle is X and Y that maximizes or achieves or performs this condition? At five here. At five here. Seven must equal one times quant of X four. A plus two. Times quantum y one seven must equal four plus two seven here doesn't equal six so this طبعا هذا ما بيتحقق صح second second case at four at four income Seven equals one times a quantity y here. Sorry, quantum x five. A plus two times quantum y two. Seven equals five a plus four doesn't equal. Hana rahit la malo hada seven doesn't equals nine. 
صح؟ The last case. Income seven equals one times six plus two times three. Okay, okay, okay. But I have assumption ten. خلينا ال consumer income equals nine. Nine, nine. ال income equals nine. تمام بال assumption. بنات بنات معلش هذا الاسامشن بدنا نفترض انه الانكم ايكوالز 9 تمام؟ اذا احنا بدنا نشتغل على انستد اوف 7 هذا 9 9 9 ان ذا فيرست كيس 9 طبعا مش ايكوالز للستة السكند كيس 9 ايكوالز 9 نعم واحد هذه مزبوط هيها أربعة وعند الخمسة هنا بتساوي قديش واحد الفرس كنديشن شو بقول MUX over PX must equal the marginal utility of Y over PY مش فاهم إيش السؤال فاهميني آه آه سؤال معلش هاي هاي الإجابة هيك هذا M U X over P X هذا related مع X ولا مع Y إذا ال X اللي قبل هذه quant of X بتساوي four M U Y here over P Y this Y is related to Y so the quantity consumed of Y equals one تمام إذا ال income هنا هيك مش سبعة ناين تمام okay Then here nine equals nine. Nine equals nine. But the third case, this is not. This is what it will be. Okay. 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 هذا ما بيزبط لنا مع السكند كونديشن اذا اي ادفايس ذا كونسيومر تو باي هاو ماني يونتس هير اذا هذا اللي زبط معي اي ادفايس ذا كونسيومر اور ذا كوانتيتي ذات ماكسمايز ذا كونسيومر ايكويلبر اور ذا ماكسمايز ذا كونسيومر توتال يوتيليتي از ا كوانتيتي هاو ماني يونتس Five units of X and two units of Y. So I advise the consumer to buy how many units? Quant of X equals five and the quant of Y equals two. So I advise the consumer to buy this bundle of goods, which maximizes the consumer total utility. Okay? Tamam. Now, Let us assume that the price of X went down to or increased to two. What will happen here? Try a two here. هذا قد ايش بصير عندنا؟ رح نشتغل على a new price of x بصير عندنا هذا 8 over 2 how much is it? 4 3.5 3 مزبوط 2.5 2 صح؟ مزبوط بعدين 1.5 What are the new quantities 
that maximize or what is the optimal combination, the optimal group that maximizes the total utility? So, these are the new data here. The first condition is met at how much? Four and four here. Three and the three. Two and two. One point half. Point one point half. So, so the first condition is met at four cases. Four at four here. So the first condition is met at four cases. Then Hannah, a new price of X is two. Price of Y remains constant at two. All right? Amen. So at four here. Quant of X equals how much? One. And a QY equals how much? Two. At three. Quant of X equals a three. Quant of Y equals a three as well. At two here. What x equals how much? Four, five. What y equals how much? Two at two. Where is it? Four. And at one, one and a half. Qx equals how much? Six. And a qy equals. Where is it? Five. Yes. Type the income and the two and two. And let us assume that income has changed to a T. And then assumptions. Let us assume that the consumer income increased from nine to eighteen and the price of X increases or increase from one to two. Determine the new equilibrium quantities of X and Y that maximizes his total utility. So we have to apply the second case or the second condition, which is I equals price of X times QX a plus price of y times the qy. So the new equilibrium here to determine the new equilibrium quantities and uh, of x and y that maximize the consumer uh, equilibrium or total utility. Income equals the price of x times the qx plus the price of y times the qy. Under the given data, the consumer's income equals 18. Price of X equals 2 and the price of Y equals 2 as well. So, the new condition here, or to apply the second condition, 18 must equal 2 times Q to X plus 2 times Q Y. Let's apply the first case here. At 4. At 4. 18 must equal 2 times the qx1 a plus 2 times the qy2 is it acceptable here 18 equals 2 plus 4 18 doesn't equal 6 and then had the bush what is the problem Hey, 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 hey. 
how can we determine the quantity? How can we apply the first condition? What is the first condition? Mux over Px equals Muy over Py. تمام? Right? تمام. هلا n4 في n4 صح؟ This four is under the column Mux over Px. So it's related to what? To x. صح؟ إذا ال4 هذه قديش الكوانتيتي تبعتها؟ واحد. واحد. 1، مضبوط؟ طيب ال4 هاد It's under the column m u y over p y. صح؟ قديش ال quantity y تبعتها؟ two. That's it. تمام؟ طب تعالي لهان هان. هيك. And the three. With three had. طب two. تبعت ال x. تبعت ال y. طب جربي لهاد. إذا فهمتي تمام؟ أوكي. طيب. Let's go to the second case. A three here. What do you see? 18 must equal price of x 2 times 3 plus 2 times 3 here. 18 must equal 6 plus 6. 18 must equal. ماش إذا هذا ما بتسوش هذول ما بتسوي إذا هذا بزبطش let's go to the third case at two eighteen equals the price of x two times five plus two times four 18 equals 10 plus 8. 18 equals 18. That's it. So, this combination here, X and Y, will maximize the total utility for the consumer. So, I advise. خلاص, don't try. ما تحاول تاني. ما تعمل تست تاني. إذن هيك. إذن I advise. جربي مش هتزبط. هاي جربي ها. اثنين في ستة. بلس. كديش. طلعش. تمام. So I advise the consumer to buy how many units of X and how many units of Y. Five units. Five units. Five equal X. Five and Q Y equals four. To maximize the total utility. The question is, we have another question here. Derive and draw the demand curve for product X and determine if product X is, or the demand for product X, is it elastic or inelastic? Okay, here. Okay. So the question is determine or derive and the draw. Derive and the draw the demand curve for product X. ليش؟ Price of X 1 How much was price of X 1? قديش كان بالأساس؟ Before it changes It was 1 قديش صار price of X 2 How much was a quantity قديش كانت quantity of X 1 بالأول اللي عملت الـ equilibrium إلا قديش كانت؟ Before changes, can it five? Can it five? Okay. Quant of y, so quant of x two. Get this sort of head up in the hand and the hand. Five. Leash. Any any equal. Gabriel, the situation is like this. 
قديش كانت الكوانز الكوانت اوف اكس اللي بتعمل يوتيليتي ماكسمايزيشن 5 قديش صارت هي في الكومبينيشن هذا برضه 5 اوكي اي دونت نو هاو كان وي ديتيرمين انه هذا ديماند الاستيك ورين الاستيك طبعا الدراي ديماند كيرف خلينا نعمل ديماند كيرف هيطلع بيرفكتلي ان الاستيك بيرفكتلي ثواني رح نروح نشوف هاي التيبل هيك للديماند كيرف برايس اوف اكس كوانتم اكس برايس اوف اكس 1 2 كوانتم اكس 5 اند 5 ليتس درو ذا ديماند كيرف يمكن بيرفكتلي بيرفكتلي الاستيك يمكن يطلع لنا نشوف الجراف راح يوديني على وين This is the demand curve here. Price of X, quantum X. Prices, one, two, three, four. Five. Quantities, one, two, three, four, five, six. At a price equals one. How much is quantum X? One, five. At two here, quantity equals five. This is the demand curve here. Perfectly inelastic, like the demand for insulin here. Double change, Taib. What does this mean? Consume the same quantities. What does what does the, what does this mean when we talk about the the income elasticity of demand? As income goes up, the quantity remains constant. So calculate the income elasticity of demand. Zero. Yeah, zero. Zero. No, no relation between the income and the quantity consumed of X here. Right? No? Type. This is the demand curve. So the demand curve is perfectly inelastic here. Calculate the total revenue before and after the change. Or the total revenue generated from X when the price was 1 and 2. So the total revenue generated for the producer, total revenue one, equals the price of X1. Here we're talking about X times a Q X1. So total revenue before changes in prices, X1 equals one times the quant consumed equals five. Total revenue two. Price of X2 times the quant of X2. Total revenue Two equals price of x two, two times five equals ten, which means the consumer here, the the, the producer decision here to increase the price, malo, rational. Then we raise the sale to the revenue zed. Had the producer, صح? Demand is. مالو elastic or inelastic قلنا perfectly inelastic تمام that's it the consumer what the the consumer bears the whole of tax burden إذا ربطنا هذا مع اللي قبل صح مزبوط ولا لا صح تمام let's go to something else فاهمين ولا مش فاهمين طب الآن كم elasticity of demand كيف حساباتها؟ انكم 1 طبعا انا فور برودكت اكس انكم 1 كان واز 9 انكم 2 اي 2 ايكوالز 18 كوانت اوف اكس 1 واز 5 وكوانت اوف اكس 2 صار برضه 5 اذا انكم الى سيست اوف ديماند راح يعمل تشينج ان كوانت اوف اكس اوفر تشينج ان انكم تايمز لو سميشن للانكم عارفين الفورميلا انتم هذا اللي اخذناه زمان بيطلع الزيرو تمام؟ That's it. 
Right, let's go to something else. UX. سؤال هذا بدي ارجع هيك هذا 8 7 6 5 4 3 قديش الداتا اللي كانت عندنا؟ حدا ينقل لي الداتا؟ 8 10 10 8 8 8 8 8 8 This is the M U Y. What do you see in this table? As the quantity consumed of X goes up, the marginal utility of X goes down. Which means that there is a negative relationship between the quantity consumed and the marginal utility. What about Y here? As the quantity consumed of Y increases from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 6, the marginal utility of Y goes down as well, which represents the law of diminishing marginal utility. قانون تناقص المنفعة الحدية. The law of decreasing the marginal utility as the quantity consumed increases the marginal utility goes down which means there is a negative relationship between the quantity consumed the quantity purchased of x qx as the quantity of x uh, consumed of x goes up the marginal utility of x goes down which represents the negative relationship between the quantity consumed and the marginal utility all right tamam now, let us assume that the marginal utility of x over px was bigger than the marginal utility of y over py. Which means, let us assume that the marginal utility of x over the price of x was bigger than the marginal utility of y over the price of y. What? Shall the consumer or will the consumer do to reach or to, uh, to reach the equilibrium? Basir heck and ahyanan nor marginal utility of x over the price of x is bigger or less than sometimes less. The marginal utility of uh, y over the price of y. Let us assume that we have an example in non MUX equals the twenty dollars, uh, sorry, tw twenty units. And the price of x equals 2. And muy equals 30. And price of y equals. Five. No, 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 no. Okay, 5. Come on. I kept it like my In this example here, what do you see? The marginal utility of x over px, mux 20, over the price of x2. What about the muy over py, muy 30 over 5? 10 is bigger than 6. So here, 10 is bigger than 6. What shall we do to achieve the first condition in mux? The first condition, the will MUX over the price of X equals MUY over PY. Had the first order condition. How can we meet? How can we reach to this condition? No, 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 no. I'm the consumer. I'm not the producer. So I, as a consumer, I have to control the marginal utility by a changes do some changes in the quantity consumed of x or y. So, no. as the quantity of x goes up, the marginal utility of x goes down. And the, as the quantity of y goes up, the marginal utility of y goes down. And, and vice versa. There is a negative relationship between the quantity consumed and the marginal utility. So, the question is, 
خم ستة لأنه عشان يثبت صح؟ كيف بدي أخلي هذا ستة؟ بدي أنزل المارجن اللي تلت بإكس يصير قديش 12 لأنه لو صار هذا 12 المارجن اللي تلت بإكس 12 على 2 6 يصير 6 إيكوال 6 أور أور إني أخلي هذا هيك خلي هذا ثبت هذا وخلي هذا يصير 10 كيف بده يصير هذا 50 إذا الخيارات المتاحة قدامي اللي تشانسز الموجودة قدامي إنه either to control يا yeah, either to decrease the marginal utility of x يا بدي أعمل decreasing the marginal utility of x to reach 12 or أعمل increasing the marginal utility of y to reach 50 How can we do some modifications or changes to the marginal utility of x to become 12 لأنه إذا صار 12 مع ثبات هدول هيك مع الكلام إنه الـ first order condition met. How can we, de de we decrease the marginal return of x? We have إذا كيف بدي أنزل marginal return of x؟ بعمل increasing في الـ quantity consumed of x. صح؟ مضبوط؟ طيب how can we or or إني أنا أعمل Increasing the marginal utility of y. كيف بدنا نز أطلع على marginal utility of y؟ بعمل decreasing في the quantity of y. That's it. تمام؟ تمام ولا عه؟ تمام. Okay. بدك الورقة هالقد بس شوية نطقيها. Okay. توكل على الله. تمام. So if the marginal utility of x over the price of x was bigger than the marginal utility of or, uh, over PY to reach the equilibrium. هذا سؤال امتحان بالمناسبة. واحد بيش بيجيبه صعب واحد بيكون فاهم قوشة مع مين. We have to, بعطيك خيارات. We have to increase the quantum X, decrease Y, increase Y, decrease Y, decrease كذا تمام. Then Hannah, if the marginal utility of X over PX is bigger than the marginal utility of y or py, we have to decrease the marginal utility of x by increasing more of x, more quantities of x. That's it. طبعا, uh, vice versa, no, if هذا is less than. تمام? Let's go to something else. Break, break, yes, break. Let's take a break and then go to in the French scale theory. Fahmin? Let's go to the second theory, the marginal cons uh, equilibrium, uh, the, the consumer equilibrium, which is the in the French scale theory. In the French. Care. Theory. أو نظرية منحنى السواء بسموها. ديفرنس مختلف، إن ديفرنس متشابه. To understand the idea of indifference curve, let's have the following example. Let us assume that we are talking about a consumer, and this consumer consumes different bundles of goods: milk and bread. So, so we're talking about a consumer, and this consumer consumes different combinations or two goods, X and Y. Product X and the product Y. So we're talking about bread, bread and milk. Bundle here. Mm -hmm. 
bread, milk, bundle A, B, C, and D, milk, milk, C, D, bread, one, two, three, four. Bread is the quantum X and milk quantum Y. Quantum consumed Y is 10, 6, 4, 3. And the total utility obtained when we consume these bundles of goods. Total utility, so let us assume it was. Uh, 100 utils, 100, 100, 100. And let's have here the marginal rate of substitution. Margin rate of substitution. In this example, we have a consumer who consumes different combinations, different groups, different bundles of goods, X and Y, bread and milk, two products, so bread and milk. The first combination, the first group, the first bundle of X of uh, product, bundle A, and this bundle, the consumer buys or consumes one piece of bread, milk, uh, sorry, bread, and uh, 10 mugs of milk. This combination, this group, gives him or her 100 utils. Tamam? That measurement tamam? El total utility. The consumer decided to increase his consumption of bread to two and decrease his consumption of milk, but this combination, this group, gives him the same total utility, which means if the consumer consumes one unit, one piece of bread, and ten mugs of milk will give him 100 details. If he consumes two pieces of bread and six cups of milk will give him the same total utility. Adding one more piece of bread here, three pieces of bread and four mugs of milk will give him the same total utility. Let's well, see. Adding one more unit here of the bread, we have to give up additional units of milk to keep the same total utility. So, here in this example, the different groups of bread and milk, X and Y, will give the consumer the same total utility. So, it's indifference here. So, uh, Indifference. So, I had had the group. I had, I had, I had. He will gain or obtain the same total utility. Tamam? Had an assumption. Indifference curve. What do you see? What about the giving up here? Adding one more unit of bread. He will give up four units here. Adding one more unit, giving up is two. Daf wahad, adding one more unit, giving up is one. 
بعد شوي مش حيضحي ولا بحاجة. To keep the same total liberty. Right? تمام؟ So, let's draw the graph here. So, let's calculate the marginal rate of substitution. Marginal rate, MRS, is the marginal rate of substitution. معدل الإحلال الحدي. أنا بحل سلعة محل سلعة. تمام؟ لو MRS equals a change in quantum consumed of Y over the change of quantum consumed of X. طبعا بحكي في ابسوليوت فاليو لانه هذا هو النيجاتيف سلوب او النيجاتيف لانه كل ما بنزيد بننقص من شيء ثاني تمام؟ سو ليتس كالكوليت فور ذا فيرست ذا فيرست بوينت هذا كوانتي واي 1 كوانتي واي 2 صح؟ كوانتي اكس 1 كوانتي اكس 2 ليتس كالكوليت ذا مارجن ريت اوف سبستيوشن فور ذا فيرست كيس 6 ناقص 10 اوفر 2 ماينس 1 إذا هذا هيك 6 minus 10 over 2 minus 1 بالأبسليوت فاليو لأن هي نيجاتيف راح تكون زدنا من إشي ونقص من إشي تاني هذا إيكوالز minus 4 over 1 بالأبسليوت فاليو إيكوالز 4 بمعنى ضحينا بأربعة هذا هيك الـ giving up is 4 what about the second 4 minus 6 اللي هو QY هذا quantum Y Q Y two, who is that? This, this, this. The absolute Q Y two minus Q Y one over Q X two minus Q X one. Okay. Hey, four minus six over three minus two. Now this is equal. The absolute value four minus six over three minus two. Now this is equal. Minus two over one equals the absolute value equals two. The next one. One, so three minus four over four minus three minus one. The absolute value equals one. Okay. Let's draw the graph that shows the relationship between the quantity consumed and quantity of x and the quantity consumed of y. So let's draw the graph. I'm sorry. Hannah. Okay. Sorry. Here we have two axes, x axis and the y axis. Quantum x. Which is a bread here, and the quant of y here, bread and milk here, bread. The quant consumed of bread and the quant consumed of milk. Quant consumed of bread, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. And y, two, three, two, four, probably a hick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the q, y. The first point here. At point A, the quantum consumed, quantum X, this is QX and QY. Quantum X, 1 and 10. 1 and 10. This is point A. Point B, 2 and 6. Point C, three and four. Four and three. Let's connect these points together. 
we will reach to the indifference curve. This is the indifference curve. I see. Which gives the consumer, in this case, total utility equals 100. So, these points lies or lie along the indifference curve. So what is the indifference curve? The indifference curve is a graph, a line, shows what? The different groups, group A, group B, group C, D, that gives or give the consumer the same total utility. That's it. And then who so what? He consumes A, or B, or C, or D, or any point along this curve will give him or her the same total utility. So any point lies along the indifference curve will give the consumer the same total utility. All right? Tamam. The marginal rate of substitution. Then, Hannah, Fahmin had a hick. Tamam. What about the marginal rate of substitution? The marginal rate of substitution is delta y over delta x. The slope of Hannah. Then, marginal rate of substitution, MRS, the change in quantity of y over change in quantity of x. Who are negative slope, what? So, how you? It looks like the demand curve. Was good? Type. In marginal rate of substitution, tell me how to do it. Tell me how to do it. Huh? Mukabel and Mujaw. Sah? I will Mukabel, Hig. I will Mujaw. But tell me how to do it. شو اللي بصير قاعد؟ السلوب بقل صح؟ هاي شايفين اعمل سلوب هنا هيك ها؟ موفمنت فروم بوينت A تو B تو C تو D ذا سلوب از ديكريسينج ما زعلت تفلينا ابو حمزه من وراكم انا انا مش ازاي لقيت اروح على الجماعه Marginal rate of substitution is decreasing. Hey you. The graph. The slope get this one. Hey. Hey, the slope here four. This is the slope of I C. The marginal rate of substitution. The absolute value. Malu is decreasing. When. While we consume additional quantities of X and less of Y. Tamam? Mish tamam, sah? Mumtaz, hai yuwadha, hai nuri slob, hana, hai. It is decreasing. Lob sammu, the marginal rate of substitution is decreasing as much as, or as the, while we add more, or consume one more unit of X, yes. أنا بحل سلعة محل سلعة بمعنى هنا بالعامية لو أنا أخذت قطعة زيادة من ال البريد تمام بضحب كميات من السلعة الثانية. هاي إحلال يعني أنا بحل سلعة أنا حليت هذا محل هذا هو هذا السمارج سبستيشن تمام أعطيك العافية المرة الجاية بنكمل.